And then this is why Chip's not going to want to play with me anymore. I'm too real. All right. All right. Are you local? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Hey, uh, guys, if you have any questions for Chip, let us know. Ask If you guys have any questions for Chip on his performance oh. um, during Grand Finals, Horrendous. please let him know. First of all. No other matches, I suppose. First of all. Okay. Why are you so bad at edge guarding? Um, nervous. Why are you nervous? How many times have you played him? And how many times have you played on stream? Thousands of times. No, no, no. How many times have you played on stream? Multiple times. Okay. Thousands of times. Hundreds. Tens. Okay. Why are you so nervous? No, it's not that I'm nervous no, about start, playing against him. Don't start it with no. I'm talking about it's his not recovery. a yes or no question. I'm talking about his I recovery. I asked why are you? Okay, go ahead. How is that a yes or no question? It's by the not. way, it's not. You said no. I said why are you so nervous? You said no. That it's not. A, you go hear ahead. me explaining go it? You hear me explaining it? Look. Yes. Hold ledge. I, well, they can't see you. Every time they when I want to see your face. Come closer. Three, my bad. My bad. One, every time when he does his up B, I always feel like if I hold the ledge for too long, he's going to land and I'm not going to be able to punish it. Okay. So I end up tr getting up and trying to do a back air. And that usually ends up doing two things. A, no, three things. Successful, trade, or total failure. And I get fucking winded by that um, up B. That is probably, for me, when going up against that up B, that's like a, that's a hard edge grab or edge guard. Okay. Yeah. Have you ever thought about, oh, I don't know, when he's like trying to up B, dropping a rock on his fucking dome? Usually it doesn't die. He usually just pops him up. That's and better him a than you doing nothing at all, letting it back That's for free. True. Like when I told you against bagels, down B his ass. Yeah. Fuck him. I think I honestly feel like everybody respects Blue way too much. Everybody mm. respects him way too much. Why? You mean being nervous about his, all of his attacks? They're like so strong. No, just him, the player. Hey, oh, why? I, I mean, other than the fact that he wins games, but why? Do I respect him. That's not like the point of why I lose. I feel that has a part to do. That's something to do with it. Looking at you play, I feel like it does. I like do. you respect him too much. When I, I play know. him, I don't respect anything about him. Yeah, Nothing. That's kind of who you are, but yeah, right. I get that. You can't respect them. It's a little bit more that I do get more defensive look, whenever I get to go up against uh, PR players. That is definitely true. Don't. don't Except respect for like them. maybe a few. Usually the bottom five. Bottom five you don't respect? Not that I don't respect. It's just that I don't play it defensively. I don't. I feel like I do feel like Link beats Kirby, but I feel like you're you're just guarding anything in general needs to improve. I think we, okay. can, we think we should work on that. Okay. Um. But yeah, I, I, I don't know. It feels like there's a lot of different situations where you have no idea what to do. Um, so then you just hold ledge or you just stay on stage? Yes. Definitely so. Definitely so. Because I do get nervous that I'm going to get knocked out on, of that. Uh, or I, I, It's always like this. I grab the ledge and I feel like sometimes there's no reward. So I just stay on the, on the, you know, on the stage. Sure. Sure. Kipcom really just says, I agree, Jesus. L-M-A-O. Fly me to... AZ, I won't show him any respect. What are your thoughts on Kipcom saying he won't show Blue any respect? Okay, that's cool. We can do that. That's fine. I just play more defensively when I play against... Uh, yes, that is true. But... Yeah, okay, you're right. Edge guard game. Terrible. Dash attacks. Those were mistakes. <laughs> Not sure you saw my face. I'm like, fuck. I dash attacks. All right, man. Okay. I, that's I, the only question you want to ask me. That's fine. Kipcom says, I believe in you, Chip and Bagels and Neon. Uh, I hope there's another Thanks, name going to be mentioned. Chip just. Um, don't. Never mind. Kipcom just stopped at Chip, Bagels, and Neon. Didn't bring up Nate Senpai, who was right underneath them in the stream chat. Didn't bring up oh, Jesus. No, he, just, he just put him up right now. I, I feel like Kipcom really disrespects me. And I think a, b a big part of the reason is because okay. I don't enter anything. Well, okay. I don't. I really don't. Yes, I seem to be. Me and Silly Car are the only people who really seem to be blue. Actually, Sanchez as well, but they haven't played in a while. Mm -hmm. We don't deal. We don't give a fuck what he's doing. So what you're telling me is I should watch you guys play? I should watch those videos. You can if you want to pick up on his habits. Not a bad sure. idea. It's not. Um. Start entering tournaments. It's, okay, honestly. Oh. You want? Ooh, <laughs> ooh I want to hear this. Why I don't enter tournaments? Let's hear it. Should I be honest? Be honest. Be honest. No. Is this recording? <laughs> off the record. Uh, off the record. 
No. <laughs> I don't enter tournaments. No. Because, first of all... Okay, for, I, I think by me not being active in tournaments... Okay. ...hurts the scene a lot. Okay. I think it kind of does because... I don't know. I feel like the scene ha as a whole has a more potential to get better. Yeah. And when the better players don't enter, it kind of it hurts. Yeah. Um. You know, or or maybe people like seeing bagels blue all the time. No. You don't? No, I don't. What and do I, I, what I know what you, you I know what you're gonna say. I'm what are you gonna do about get it? Get better. Get better. I get that. I understand that. But okay, so I don't enter because first of all, I feel like. I don't know. When I was doing Cyber Zone and I was winning, I was like, well, I'm here for after work until like 11 to midnight or whatever. Sure. Stay late. And only made so much money. And I felt like it was a huge waste of my time, honestly. I was like, I'm not making that much money. My time could be better spent doing something else. Yeah. Um, so I took a step back because I really felt like more people need to get exposure. Sure. If it's just me and Grand Finals a lot, then... I don't know if people like watching DDD play is boring. Why does everybody think their main character is boring to watch? Hey, everybody in the chat, you guys think DDD is exciting to watch? Let's be honest here. I think it's cool. No, a good character, a good character being a good player to play in a character is always interesting. DDD is not fun to watch. Do you see any hype DDD combo videos? Anything at all? No, you no. see hype DDD hits. Thank you, Kipcom. DDD sucks. He's very boring. Game. See? DDD is uh, interesting. I like watching DDD. So. Rather watch DDD than Link versus Luigi. That's our fault, Nate Senpai. That's our fault. We need to get better. A Ness versus Luigi? That's I delicious. think DDD is very boring, and if you're you main DDD, you're an idiot. Okay. That being said, said that. I don't enter because I really feel like for a while I was just beating up on people, and I got really bored. Okay. To the point where I would sandbag and I would lose this on purpose just so I can go back to winners yeah. and see if I can make it. I would challenge myself. Okay. There's been times where, like, I think the very first time Blue beat me, I let, I, he beat me 3-1. Okay. And then I quick 3-0. And he, just because I wanted to say, okay, let's see if I can challenge myself. If I'm playing from losers, maybe I'll feel like a sense of urgency and get better. Okay. It just wasn't that fun anymore. And then, so, Meds left to Yuma. Yeah. Jordan got a job. He stopped entering. Yeah. I really felt kind of no motivation. Because? So I, because everybody left. Those people who can challenge you are gone. They left. But then, now that I left, and, you know, coming back, Bagels is amazing. He's gotten so much better. Okay. Nick Senpai is getting so much better. You, you're getting so much better. Blue is really good at adapting mid-set and just, like, picking the best options. His recovery is really good. He's yeah. gotten so much better as well. So sometimes I feel like maybe I should come back and enter again. But I still don't have that drive. Maybe okay. I stayed away too long. I don't have that drive anymore. So, can I ask you... And because I knew that it was downhill, because Paragon. Okay. Finals day. Okay. You were in my hotel room. Yeah. I slept in. Yeah. I didn't give a fuck. Yeah. I didn't care. It hurt. That was bad. There was it's three so people bad. from Arizona who made it out of pools. So bad. Axe dropped out because of melee. Yeah. I slept in. Yep. Jordan went 0-2. Yep. Jordan the Frog. No, he lost to Sosa, who's really good. Yes. And he lost to Eddie Mexico. Never played against him. Uh, okay. Luigi. But Ooh. Eddie Mexico was a super good Luigi main in melee. Anyway, that being said, um, yeah, I just lost any motivation I had. Nobody was challenging me. Okay. I would, I would like, com intentionally sandbagging against everybody just to, like, I would come down in sets, whatever, just so I can, like... Have a back. reason to yeah have a reason to start playing like harder. Okay. And that's bad because that doesn't get anybody better really. No. It really doesn't. And I noticed that, so that's why I stopped entering altogether instead of doing that, being a jerk. Because honestly, it was really a jerkish thing for me to do. Sandbag and win. Yeah. Yeah. Because it didn't get anybody better. Nobody well, gets better. Frustrates that way. people. Yeah. It gets nobody better. Yeah. They feel like oh wow I almost had it. No, you didn't. I just wasn't really caring. Um, no. Yeah. It's, but that's not good. So I realized that, and I know because of that, I was like, I shouldn't be entering events. It doesn't help anybody. It really didn't. So I stopped because I just know I w my heart wasn't in it anymore. And because my heart wasn't in it anymore, I felt it was, I was just hurting, I guess, at the time, the, the scene. Okay. But I don't know. I told Bagels last Monday 
If he beats blue, I'll start entering. Oh, yeah. They're like 15 and 1 right now in sets. Yeah. So we'll see. I don't know. if I told Jordan if he starts coming back and playing seriously, I'll pick up Meta Knight. So oh, I can, so we can have like... character. Yeah. yeah. But I don't know. So we'll see. Um, maybe I need to pick up a Spacey. I'm not technical. Anyways, you need to learn how to edge guard. Okay. Well, what were you going to say? No, what I was going to say is the fact that we have the top players making it in, like, the finals. Like, Blue. Blue is making it every every grand finals. Like, are you waiting for somebody to beat him? And then you feel like, okay, maybe this team's getting better. You can maybe, come back and because do that. Or are you honestly, waiting for Neon and Mez to start coming back? And like, oh, screw Med, up, Mez will never. He's not coming back. He's in Yuma. Yeah. Jordan might start entering again. Uh, Maybe. Last time I played Blue... I came from losers after I beat Neon, yeah. and I 6 sold him. Yeah. So I was like, okay. Like, I know I can beat him. Like, I feel like me and Silly Kyle, he hasn't played Sanchez in a while, but like me and Silly Kyle. I haven't seen Silly Kyle. I know, but we can beat him. Yeah. Like, we're the people in Arizona that don't, he doesn't, like when we're playing, he doesn't give us a problem. It's just like, whatever. Yeah. Um, so maybe, I d maybe people need to start beating Blue. That makes sense. Maybe people need to start beating him. And then that's like, okay, they once they overcome him, because right now, he is the person to beat in Arizona and PM. Yeah, yes, yes. Blue is the person to beat. Yes. Um, so once people start beating him, maybe I'll start entering again. Okay. But people need to step up and beat him, really. All I don't right. touch the game for months and then I beat him. That's crap. Why is that a, why is that a thing? Right. Why? That shouldn't be allowed. And I'm doing it with a, a character that's a lot of people consider about a five, DDD. Mm -hmm. That shouldn't be allowed. That shouldn't be a thing. I should not be beating Blue. I shouldn't. That's right. Silly Kyle doesn't really ever touch the game, but then he bodied all of Tucson. That shouldn't be a thing. People are still playing. People are getting better. That should not be a thing, but it is. People need to get better. I don't know what it is. Okay. But how, how other than the fact of just going up against good players, getting bodied, and then kind of like, you, you're there, thankfully that you're there, you tell me like, oh, this is what you're bad at right now. You need to fix that, right? And which is very good. But as of right now, you're, I know you're probably the only one in Arizona that does that That's for willing us. to do that? Yeah. Um, if you need help, this goes to everybody in chat, but especially in Arizona, message me. Post in the Facebook group saying, hey, guys, how do I get a better mindset? Can somebody bring down this video? Can somebody bring down this set? Yeah. Do that. Ask for help. Yeah. It's, there's no shame in asking for help. Yeah. None. Well, study your videos. Really study your videos. If you want to get better, study your videos and realize what's going to happen. Why am I losing? Why did I choose this option? What else could I have done? Right. Um, I don't know. So do you think if... If there was like a coaching service that would help people, or does it really depend on the players? Because honestly, it'll always depend on the players. Yeah. Who do you feel comfortable getting advice from? Oh, dude, one of them is being you, but it's people who kind of just have. Is it better players that you will? Because I feel like people would only take a generally just want advice from people who are just better, like higher in the PR, whatever. Usually, usually like. Like uh, Ryan, Ryan's a great person to go for, like for frame data and like trades and that sort of stuff. That's questions I never ask. I feel like every once in a while I should ask more of that. But um, I, for me, it's about asking people who have great fundamental play, um, and who. I remember seeing like a post on the SoCal group. I think it was from Ben. I'm saying like, just throwing throwing attacks isn't smart. Just wait for for those attacks to hit, and then you're good. I and mean, then uh, it paraphrased really badly, but that that kind of that post for me, like, it stayed in my head for so long. So many other players told me that, and it was just from coming from him. I was like, you know what? That made sense. Yeah. So it, it really is. It, as I bet it's very frustrating for top players for constantly saying the same shit, but at one point it's gonna stick. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. You can also tell like when you're giving your eyes. But anyway, we gotta wrap it up. Yeah, we we're do. closing out. It's almost Let's eleven. Get out of here. Everybody, thank you for watching. Tune in Monday at CyberZone. There's going to be an announcement for Ooh. some sort of secret announcement or announcement for a secret tournament. And a tournament coming up in July. Ooh. And 
there will also be uh, new frames glasses for Z-Man. He's getting new oh, finally. glasses. <laughs> finally, they're all uh, brand new. Anyways, thank you for watching. This is Jesus. You are Chips. Thank you, guys. Have a good night.